Hey guys and gals, here's a short little video of how I added a reversing switch to my Harbor Freight Mini Mill. It's a double pole, double throw switch with off in the center. Added it into the panel. Okay, there's plenty of room for it behind there. The uh, power wires that go to the motor are, oops, bad camera work. These two, they go up to the motor. These two are the are the power supply that come from the power supply. Uh, then I looked at the schematic of the Harbor Freight Mini Mill, and they put their switch in the exact same spot where this one is. Um, the wiring looks to be identical, except the mill doesn't have a switch where the lathe does. So I think it should be okay on that. Uh, they do caution that you're supposed to turn it off before you switch... Uh, directions which that's fine I might even take the potentiometer and just turn it off completely to kill the power going through the wire so there's no voltage spikes uh, although some people have said they've had theirs wired this way for a couple years and have never had an issue uh, then the, the other pundits say that well you got to put a, a capacitor in there to take the overload that you know might be a voltage spike but I think I'll be good if I just turn it off so that's what I did so Took the wire connectors out of these two, clipped them off, put ring terminals on them, made the two jumper wires to complete the circuit because here's your, here's your circuitry on how you wire the double pole, double throw switch. You have to cross it over from corner to corner, and then you run the, pow the power into the bottom, then up to the motor, out of the center terminals. So it works just like it's supposed to. Um, put the panel back on. So... Um, I'm not going to turn it on and do it because I'm not that great a cameraman, but anyhow, that's what I have. So the other mods I've made to my, to my mill, I did add the DRO to it, which are separate, separate scales. So, and that works, works pretty well. Um, underneath here, this is the other one. So, and I use the the Bluetooth breakout box from Yuri's Tools. I think I got it from, um, I think it was from a little machine shop, but it hooks into the either my phone, which I'm actually using it, or I'd show it to you, or I can hook the lap, or not laptop, the tablet into it. And uh, so it works pretty well. So there's my modifications for my mini mill. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so, so don't hit me too hard on the comments. All right, see you.